Hi, my name is Elena and I am a lifestyle of photographer and videographer based in London. As a photographer, I really love simple, simple options and I don't have a big park of lenses or like that. I have small uh, items that really helps me to film videos better or take photos easily and I want to show you. And first of all, I want to start from cameras. I use two cameras. Uh, first one I use for photography. I use Canon for lifestyle photography and when I'm going somewhere for travel trips and with that one I use 35 mil uh, lens only one usually it's like 90 percent of everything i'm shooting i'm doing with one lens so i have only 35 with nd filter on top of it even for photography and for commercial photography or for my clients and for videos i use lumix that i'm filming now with and with usually 50 mil because i really love uh, fixed lens for it's 24 we have 24 50 and 85 mil for lumix and yeah it'd be really beautiful and quite affordable lenses and i'm using for commercial shootings fixed lens for photography uh, and for video vlogs i'm using this lens that i'm using now 2460 I guess yeah um, that I can rotate and just change the angle it's really helpful when I'm shooting something or filming something on the side or somewhere like a vlog or I'm doing some, something on my desk and I need specific angles so I don't need to change lenses all the time I just can use one lens and that's it so I have only two cameras sometimes I do photos with uh, my husband camera but it's occasionally sometimes even with my phone but usually yeah for photography and lifestyle photography I'm using my Canon and for commercial shootings and for video I'm using Lumix why I'm using commercial sh for commercial shootings um, Lumix not Canon because um, for Lumix we have better quality lenses and big park of lens so I prefer to be sure that I have everything in good quality in like big big size that I can edit because for me for myself or for traveling I need lightweight camera and that is Canon and for commercial I'm okay with to use a heavy camera or, or when we are going somewhere and I need to shoot only video for vlogs for example I'm using Lumix as well I do photos with Lumix sometimes but I prefer to do it with Canon so uh, yeah it is my options like two options I have all the time and also I have a beautiful lens from TT Artisan that I'm using sometimes for my vlogs uh, it has um, really uh, blurry effect with different angles you can have it vertically or horizontally and yeah I will show some footage that I did with this lens really love it when I need a static shot and just to show um, some static footage I prefer to shoot, shoot with that lens because it's really beautiful dramatic and cinematic and also for Canon I have a lens a big one for wildlife photography <laughs> shooting it's 100 to 400 for RF it's really lightweight because if you are if you have the same for previous bayonet for EF, it will be so heavy and so big and so expensive. That one is really lightweight and really good uh, stabilization and really good quality for photos. I will show some footage for from that lens as well. I didn't shoot with that one for a while because usually I'm going outside for wildlife photography in summer when it's warmer and you can spend more time outside. And hopefully the summer will use it more often but yeah love it and really recommend if you have rf bayonet new canon camera mirrorless camera i really recommend this lens if you need something for um wildlife for, for static wildlife you can shoot it with sports as well but i'm not sure it will be enough but for a static uh, shoot that you need like for birds for animals uh, i did some beautiful photos in a zoo as well so if you need a z isolated photos this lens really really good for it 
and related to cameras i have dji the second one it's really simple like a gopro camera but i prefer that one because it has a Mm, magnet clip that you can have it here and I'm using it for PIY videos uh, for photography you can find a lot of uh, videos like that on my channel when I'm going somewhere outside um, like usually in London and shooting some street photography and you can see it from my perspective of you that uh, how I do photos how I see the world and then take picture of it so it's it's really nice if you need something more like a sport camera or you need to film POV videos for yourself and it has also a battery building battery and uh, additional battery and i really love it really really good quality and easy to use to be honest because i tried with gopro and for gopro you need a lot of stuff if you want to attach it somewhere on a chest it will be difficult it's good for extreme sport like gopro better for ex extreme sport but if you're looking something more for lifestyle shootings this one is the best i really really ca can recommend it the next one I want to talk is about light because it's really important one of the most important thing and uh, I love to shoot with natural light from a window I have a window here but it is winter now okay it's uh, spring now but during the winter it was really hard to film uh, something and previously we had a big softbox that we had here and close to my desk but I sold it because it's really hard to use it it's nice when you have a studio when you have a, like your own uh, office place when you can place it but to have it at home or if you're filming it at home quite hard and tricky to have it so now I have a new really light softbox that imitates light from a window and it's really lifesaver because if when you want to shoot something for, for example after 3 p.m it, it become dark but you don't want to use an artificial light like a home light and you need somehow to imitate um, light from a window it's uh, like the best light because we had dima bought different options and we had small big one but i think that that one in new one six one hundred is the best option because you can place it on a tripod and you can bounce into the wall and you can imitate a light from the window which helped me to have this consistent light and consistent look because obviously i not always have a uh, this pleasure of uh, beautiful weather outside so i'm using this light always to uh, shoot at home to show something for product uh, shootings and even sometimes for vlogs outside I'm using it with a small soft box which is more than enough because again previously we had a big uh, soft box and that one is small and you don't need a lot of space at home if you need something small uh, it is so far the best the best one the best light that we ever had also related to light i'm using any filter that i have here on the lens so any filter helped me to reduce the light or i'm rotating the filter and you can see it's like too light this one is too dark uh, so i'm trying to compensate it and have it some somewhere in the middle and again it's uh, must have for vlogs and for videos in general because you can buy any camera like any lens any camera but if you're shooting in, in a shiny i mean even it's it's a miserable day sometimes you can have uh, that light um, lens that you have a lot of light and everything become ex like overexposure and you can't fix it with iso you can't fix it with uh, any settings you just need an angel filter to block the light just to have less light going through the lens so yeah i have any filter here i have any filter on my canon as well and i'm using it for photo photography as well because sometimes when it's too shiny outside but you want to have a macro photography you can't do it you need to close 
mm, close your aperture and ND filter helps me to work with light properly and when even if, uh, if I'm shooting at home uh, I don't need to block the light I don't need to add the light I just can use it with ND filter and that's it the next one is audio I'm using this microphone is a simple Rode uh, microphone for camera use and I use it with extender so I have a big 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 uh, cable extender that I'm plugging into my camera and use it like that when you put it on camera and just talk to it it's like too far because my camera is like one hand in you, as you can see and if I will place it there you will see the sound and the bounce uh, from um, walls because all walls bouncing and I have a like our flat I don't have a specific uh, room for podcasts or for uh, recording audio so you will see that not that good uh, even like that I can we can test uh, I'm talking like that if it will be on a camera and when I place it here the sound become better more pleasant and it's easier and better to listen to and it's again when it's one thing that I'm talking a lot to especially beginner youtubers that it's the camera sometimes not really matter but the sound is because you can film really really beautiful cinematic picture but if you have a bad sound bad audio it will ruin your footage so it's better to invest in a light and audio first and then camera and also I have a wireless uh, microphone that I use not that often but it's also so handy if you are filming interviews or something you just have one for on a camera uh, one uh, on you and on someone that you're talking to and you record an audio it's really handy I prefer um, that one like hard wire <laughs> option but if you like if you want to have something seamless it's really good option I have it and mm, it's really good quality only one thing that I always worry about is the battery it's it has really good battery like eight hours but still you need to double check is it turning off is it turning off because when I'm talking to that I know that it's plug-in and I see it on my monitor on a camera uh, from that one you can see it as well but you need to double check because previously I remember I filmed a few videos with that and then realized that one of microphone is turning off I don't know for some reason I thought it will be on but it was off and yeah it is frustrating and I you need to refilm everything and just film it again which is annoying uh, but in some cases you can use only wireless option which I really recommend for the wireless 2 um, good option for that and even if you don't have a microphone you can you can film with your phone just to record um, with a native app that you have a like a dictaphone recorder audio recorder um, and have it like that sometimes people use it with socks uh, that you put a socks on socks on in and just to have it like a pop-up filter but I use it like that sometimes when I need audio and you don't need to film yourself so yeah if you don't have a microphone or just you forget to have microphone or your battery is dead uh, phone is really really good option it's better option that film it from the camera so if I have option to film it from the camera or from my phone I will definitely film and record from my phone and then from on editing I will synchronize it which is not that tricky it takes time but again it's not that bad it's better to have better quality and then edit it than do not have good quality with beautiful picture also I'm using tripods a lot and I really love light lightweight and small tripods previous one I had from Amazon but then I upgraded to that one really good quality and I use it I don't know five years already and I have another one with a leg that helps you to shoot from the above uh, I'm not using it a lot but it is nice to have two um, tripods because sometimes you need to, to have camera on it it, and for the second one you can have light on it so you can have a light from one side 
from from this side, uh, like um, like a window, and on another tripod you have it with a camera, so it's really handy. You don't need to think about how to fix it, how to place it, where to place it. You have it all together, and even on one um, one tripod you can fix camera and your uh, light on top of it, and everything related to editing. I have a lot of different questions about what apps do I use so for I'm editing on my MacBook with uh, Final Cut and I'm using only Final Cut I don't like Premiere to be honest uh, I'm editing all videos on that even for Reels because it's easier for me but if I'm editing on my phone I'm using InShot really simple and good quality uh, uh, app that that you can you can do anything that you're doing in Final Cut you can do it on your phone and as I said I just talked about it years ago but when I filmed my for my first videos on YouTube for two years I guess I filmed with iPhone and I edited on iPhone so when you have all your footage you have in your camera or in your phone right you don't need to transfer it so why do you need to transfer it on computer I mean it doesn't make any sense so I edited in InShot and it really saved me a lot of time because you have I don't know 10 minutes in a train 20 minutes in a car and you can edit right there and I exported the final video and upload it on YouTube and that's it so sometimes you don't need a fancy um, apps or just really expensive apps or really expensive um, I don't know phone or laptop to edit beautifully you just need to have a vision and that's it uh, so yeah for two years I edited and filmed with iPhone and I really like it that I switched to Final Cut. Now I'm more fluent in Final Cut so I can edit all videos that I have on Final Cut. Uh, so I use it, I use it there. Also I'm using LUTs, uh, my personal LUTs for color grading. So here I can show a not color graded video with LUT on top of it. I really love my color. I really develop it and I feel myself in it um, and again for four years I didn't use any color because previously when I filmed on Canon I usually used with um, cloud white balance so the picture become not after balanced but more slightly yellow brown ish I have a lot of videos about uh, my settings on this channel so you can check separately but yeah i use it for uh, canon when i used with canon i didn't edit at all i didn't do any color grading but that when i started to shoot with lumix i wanted to try some color grading because i started to understand what do i want and started to use LUTs. and now i use my my personal color i can say that really suits me and for photo editing, I'm using Lightroom. I'm storing all photos in Lightroom. Not all photos I'm editing, like most of photos are unedited from my Canon camera because again, I'm using cloud settings most of the time, even um, with my previous, especially with my previous uh, RP Canon. With a new one, I feel like uh, uh, after balance, works really well here so the picture become more brown even in after balance which is really excites me when i'm shooting with lumix i always edit and for commercial and for clients i always edit as well so it's my rule it's my workflow i feel like that and clients come in to me for a specific light for a specific color and they do understand what to expect from me so i'm using one color to meet their expectations <laughs> Also for storing all footage, I'm using Samsung drives. I'm editing directly from them because not always you can edit directly from hard drive. Sometimes it's not enough speed, but that one is, hey, they're not cheap. They're quite expensive comparing to other drives, but they're so compact and lightweight, like a small one, it's like 
I have uh, two, two of them and I can have it with me somewhere and I can edit directly from footage. I, I have all footage on my drive and I place it in Final Cut and edit it from a Final Cut from a hard drive. I don't store it uh, anymore on Final Cut inside because it become really, really big files and I just, I just don't need them. Uh, and also related to YouTube for editing, I'm using LUTs and I'm using music from Epidemic Sound, which I really, really love. And uh, I had a pleasure to visit their office in Stockholm last year, which I have, which I filmed as well. So you can check uh, all my trip to, to their office. And I spent some time in the studio, so how, how they made this music. And it's really excites me. And they're really nice guys, which I'm um, which is a pleasure to work with. So I'm using all my music, all my sounds, birds, bora, uh, classic music, jazz, um, like medieval music or some modern hip hop I'm using from them. And I will um, left a lot of different links for all stuff that I talked to in this video below uh, in the description box so you can check or just um, check something or if you miss something just for camera lenses I will have a full list there just to take a look and if you have some questions about something that I'm using how I'm using or maybe some uh, options that uh, you can use as well if you have different budget or you have different camera you want to ask please ask in the uh, comments below and yeah it is uh, I think the fullest video of everything I have so if something will change I will write in an update in the description below as well and thank you so much for watching hopefully it was interesting and you find something interesting for you maybe to buy or to use or to upgrade and again if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below and thank you so much for watching see you next time <laughs>